Hello my loves! Welcome back to another vlog! I haven't seen you guys in a vlog in so long. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing good. I've just been life busy and um, really I probably could have been vlogging because life hasn't been boring. Um, I just, I don't know, I just kind of forgot and I've been out of the habit so you know there's that but uh we're, we're doing it we're doing a vlog today um i was just gonna open these packages which have been sitting in my bedroom for a couple of weeks now <laughs> and i keep thinking like i'll open them and i'll do the things that i need to do with the stuff that's inside but i just don't um so i remember some of the stuff that i purchased but i don't <laughs> remember all of it um i went through oh i bought some exciting stuff guys one thing in particular i'm super excited for i'll show you in a minute it's it's out in the hallway um i've been sort of going through this uh, like wanting to fix up the house again kind of phase um and i want to Look, what I want to do is renovate the kitchen, like do it, like completely gut it and redo it. I'm not going to do it. I I'm just going to have to pay for it. Um, I'll get someone else to do it for me. Uh, but I'm in the saving phase of doing that. But since I'm in that sort of headspace, I um, have also been trying to find things is this too is my exposure too high maybe let me see if i can fix it is that a bit better i don't know i'm sitting near the window anyway so i'm kind of in this headspace of like trying to find things around the house that i can like fix or just make you know better myself um so i know i bought something to organize a kitchen drawer in one of these so i will find it what's this one okay okay i forgot <laughs> i forgot i bought this but i i have been wanting one um it's a car mount for my phone which has that um what's this called magsafe um it's not a charging one i didn't i figured i didn't really need a charging one um because i can just plug a charger into it um originally what i had in my car was a charging one for my phone that charges via the back but isn't magsafe so that was my previous phone but this doesn't attach to that one so i bought a new one hopefully it's good i typically don't like these ones that go on the vents because if you want to have the heater on in winter it overheats the phone but we'll see how it goes okay what's what's in here why is the bag so big what did i buy i don't remember this is what i love about online shopping if you don't open stuff straight away and you buy quite a few things you just forget oh that's nice okay guys right story time i have a dog as you guys know and she sheds twice a year for like six months at a time <laughs> but when she's shedding uh like she's just sort of coming towards the end of shedding her summer coat there is just fucking hair everywhere okay you should see the inside of my car <laughs> if we roll down the windows in like when driving my car there is literally like a dog hair tornado in the car so it's a problem but uh it's a problem like everywhere in the house right now obviously y you have a dog it is what it is so i've been trying to find some things to like deal with certain areas that are a real annoyance for me the carpet fine i've got one of those carpet rakes and then you know you rake over the carpet and then just vacuum it up that's fine the car oh the carpet just fell off the car um the car i have bought something else to deal with that which i'll show you in a second but another pain point for me is actually my bed now i do let my little fluffy muffin on the bed um but i swear she sheds all over it like can i show you a pillow like look at this fucking pillow so 
I have been trying to find really highly rated products for removing pet hair off material. What I've usually been using are the sticky rollers from Ikea and they're fantastic. Like I love them. They, they pick up the hair so well, but it's wasteful. It is wasteful because you know, you roll it over, picks up the hair. You got to take off the, the layer of sticky stuff to get a fresh one. And I go through a lot of it to do a queen size bed and the pillows. So this, that was a long story <laughs> to tell you that I bought this and I really hope it's good. It's the Chum Chum Roller. They say it's the world's best pet hair remover. Look right there, guys. Let's see if they're telling the truth. Um, so you just roll it back and forth on carpets, rugs, blah, blah, blah. Pet hair will be deposited into the dustbin and then you empty the dustbin. I was like, how's it, oh, how's it automatically going into the dustbin? So it's one of these guys, which is a great, um, I don't know. It's like, I don't know what you would call it. It's some sort of like textured something, something. Anyway, I've used them for years on like clothes and stuff. But the problem is when you sort of go over a surface, then you have to like scrape all of the fucking hair and fluff off it. And I wanted one that sort of does it automatically. So look, we're going to see. We're going to see if this works. Do we just roly poly and then blah 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 yeah roly poly all right oh, pray for me guys let's see <gasps> stop it it's amazing freya oh my god <gasps> freya it works so good get more hair on it do it <laughs> i just woke her up from a nap oh that is so good that is amazing oh freya is this the best do it on the bed oh my god oh my god my life is changed oh my god okay let's see what's inside Ooh. okay there's there's some fluff and shit in there now that is so good listen best however much money i spent on that ever i'm happy with that all right next box okay 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 um this is one of the things that i purchased to help organize one of our well you want something don't you freya wants something and she's like you woke me up you woke me up what are we doing do you want to come on to bed yeah come on up the days good girl let me sniff yeah, that's the roller. It saves everything. Oh, it's the best one. Yes, yeah, the best one. So in our kitchen, um, our drawers that we keep our cutlery in are fairly deep. Um, and we had just like a standard cutlery organizer in there. And then I found one that was expandable and would fit sort of on the top of the drawer so it actually sort of made the drawer a bit more useful because we could put the cutlery in the organizer and then underneath there was space it's been good but the underneath is just like a mess of shit mostly knives and other cutlery pieces that we don't use too often so i saw this on amazon it is mad for everything compact two-tier knife organizer here's how it looks so you can put knives here in this section and then on top i am maybe tiny tiny bit concerned about the depth of it we'll find out we'll go in the kitchen we'll we'll try it we'll try it um this actually i forgot that i purchased but <laughs> i am not mad that i purchased it um some of the things that i purchased like when I made this particular order that pretty much all of these things came in. Um, there were a few things that were in my cart that had been there for a while. And uh, I've obviously processed the whole cart. So I bought, I should just tell you, an Aero Latte. Um, and that's because sometimes I like to like froth up milk and stuff. Or I like to mix something with something. 
and I've got um so I bought one of those milk frothers that's like the sort of standalone ones but it's not very good it heats milk which is handy um but and it does work but the mechanism in it is meant to sort of turn and it doesn't turn so sometimes the milk kind of burns anyway i i just wanted an uh, like a milk frother so i bought one this is the last box freya's like please give me something here you want to smell the aero latte you smell oh is it a good one that's for me there is something in here for the dog so she's gonna be happy um let's just do it now I don't know if she'll recognize the package. We'll find out. Pig's ears. Um, I usually buy these from Costco. These are the Bow Wow brand. And um, she, look, she knows what it is. Is that for you? Oh, is it for you? Yeah. But look. Look. Oh, there's two. Oh, is that good? All right, come on. She knows she has to get off the bed for her treat. She's ready. You ready? They're pretty big and um, she doesn't crunch through them too quickly either. There's going to be a lot of crunching in the background now. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so I usually buy these at Costco and they were just a little bit cheaper on um, Amazon. So I bought them on Amazon. What is it? Well, you don't like it. Are you waiting for another one? You're not getting another one. You already got one. Oh, this. Okay. This was actually a request from mum. Now, I've had one in the past and I purchased it off Yes Style um, and used it in the kitchen because I thought it would be handy for when I'm cooking. And it was, but turns out the rest of my family fell in love with it. This is actually a bin bag holder that attaches to like a cupboard door. So you just, you know, open the door, stick it on the, the door and then you close it and it, it hangs off. You, you know, put a, a bag in there so it hangs through and then you pop this back on and it's like a catch-all for rubbish essentially it's really handy if you're um you know peeling vegetables and you've got vegetable scraps you can scrape it right in there and then take it out and dump it in the worm farm if you've got one or the compost um anyway ours broke because freya yes you um she decided to get into the bin one day and she pulled it off the um door and it broke this part and mum ever since has been like can you get can you get another one where'd you get it and i'm like i can get another one so i bought one of them i got it off amazon this time um okay the rest of the stuff's pretty boring i bought two new power adapters for um something that i'll show you now this is from anchor Oh, it doesn't actually show the picture on the thing. Okay, well, let's crack it open because I'm going to set it up. Okay, this has been like one of my favorite purchases from this year. I've already got one. I'm buying an extra one for a different area in my house. It is a um, MagSafe charging stand like so. And it also charges AirPods. Like... So, it's awesome. Um, they don't come with a power cord, uh, power pack. They come with a cord, which is why I bought one of these. And I bought one for my other one because I've been using my old laptop battery, which is probably not ideal. Uh, anyway, I bought this one for my desk. I have one uh, by my bedside. But if I'm online gaming and, you know, like I'm talking to people and stuff like that with my airpods it's really handy to have this by my desk i can charge my airpod case i can use one of my headphones while the other one is charging and you know it's just super handy i love it freya loves her pig's ears 
Um, yeah, so I decided I needed another one in my life. And to be fair, I would even consider getting one for my filming space as well. Love that. Very excited to have another one. Look forward to setting it up. And there is something else in here, but I don't know what it is. Very heavy. What did I buy? Oh, okay. Um, these are hangers, dispensers, hooks, something. I'm not sure how you would describe it, but they, um, they hold paper towel rolls and you connect them to like the bottom shelf of a cupboard. I'll take you in the kitchen and uh, we'll have a look. It was a pack of two. Uh, there's a black one and a white one. I don't know why they do like a black and a white. They should have just made them like optional colors, but whatevs, we've got them. And our paper towel just sits on our bench and I kind of hate that. I hate shit sitting on the bench. I don't like the clutter in the kitchen. It irritates me. There was something else that I bought and it's not arrived yet. It's been some time. I might just check. There was something else that I bought to pair with this. I'm going to check my Amazon account. Guys, I spilt a um, face mask on my keyboard um, and I fried like these buttons here, which is so fun. So when I type in Amazon, it says mon.com.au. It's really not helpful. Um, I need to, oh God, I wonder if I can just check it on my phone. Package is lost and will not be delivered. Please contact Amazon for the next. For fuck's sake. Oh my God. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, Amazon refunded me for the item that's not going to be delivered. Let me show you the other goodies that I purchased. Okay, this is part one of my most exciting purchases. Um, I'm adding two, two new Bissell products to my life. This is a multi cordless hand vacuum. I got this one specifically for cleaning the car. Um, usually I would take our big vacuum out there, but that's a pain in the ass because you've got to attach the cord and have cords running through windows and pain in the ass. Um, now this one, I did my research and they said it was really good for pet hair and I'm sure there'll be other situations where we want to use it. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna charge it up and then I'll uh, take you guys out to the car and <laughs> you can see how it looks. There is something else that I purchased. <coughs> oh, Burb's excited too. It's this guy. I finally bought it. Um, <coughs> okay, Burb, thank you. So I was talking about possibly buying myself one of these for Christmas last year um, and I didn't do it. And it's it's been one of those things I've just wanted for a long time. Uh, so I just beat the bullet and purchased it. I did get a good price on it and there was like a cashback redemption thing. Um, so uh, overall I saved, I think I saved over $100, which is pretty good. Um, it is like a, it's a wet and dry vacuum it's like multi-surface you can use it on like hard floors i want to use it for the kitchen and all of the tiled areas um again this one it's good for people with pets because the pet hair doesn't get tangled and it's got like a special uh filter and stuff so again very excited to set this up and use it haha <laughs> if you guys have one of these let me know what you think <laughs> I'm going to suck bird up the vacuum cleaner with it. No, I'm not. That's a joke. It's just making my ears bleed. Alrighty. The handy dandy is ready to be charged. And look at this dog hair. Look at it. This is my problem. This is my problem. That helps. That helps a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not absolutely perfect, but... To have absolute perfection, you can't have a dog. So, look, this is all Freya with her. I'm going to eat snacks on the bird. She's feral. She's feral. But that helps heaps. I'm glad I bought that. I'm 
I'm gonna test out the vacuum, but I'm gonna show you guys how bad the dog hair is in the car. The dog! And I just, I moved the car forward. Freya's sitting in the front seat. She doesn't want to get out. Ma'am? Freya? Freya? Hi. Oh, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> she was trying to sit when I was moving the car forward. She was trying to sit on this. And I'm like, no, ma'am. That's, that's not correct. Um, so I do have this cover on the back seat, which I keep on the back seat for the dog so that she doesn't scratch the leather. Um, and usually what I do when I'm trying to defuzz the car is take this out and shake it off. Problem is you have to like pull these seats down and loosen up the straps and it's a real pain in the butt. So I'm hoping with the little vacuum that I purchased that I will just be able to leave it on there and clean it up and not have to go through an extra 20 minutes of taking it off and putting it back on. So we'll see how we go. Here she comes. Oh, this is my seat. This one's my seat, mum. Oh. <laughs> this is my seat. I like uh, this me. Me seat. Is that your spot? Is that your spot? Yeah, it's a bit warm in here. Don't you want to get out? Come on. Come on. Out you get. Come on. Out. Quick. Come on. Right. <laughs> She's like, no. We're going for a drive. Look at her face. She's like, no. Come on, good girl. That's it. Look at this hair. Nah, no, she's back in. She's like, <laughs> can't we go? Can we go somewhere? Put my seatbelt on. Put it on me, please. Put my seatbelt on. Let's go. She loves the car. Um, look at these pockets of hair. I also want to look for my necklace while I'm vacuuming out the car because I've lost it. Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's not, we'll see. Hello Freya girl. Here, oh, the lighting. Look, filming outside, it's a whole thing. Um, here's what I've got out of the back seat so far. I would say, look, it's not perfect. It's not really the miracle tool that I was hoping it would be. What, what do you want? <laughs> um, but it is portable, it's handy, it's easy and it's picking up the bulk of the crap. When it comes to this guy back here, um, I think what I'm gonna do is use the vacuum to get off the majority of the hair. Obviously because this isn't actually attached to the seat, like it's not the seat. When the vacuum sucks it up, it is fairly powerful. It tries to suck up the material. So it's kind of hard to prevent that from happening. Um, so I think I would just use a sticky roller to get off um, anything that's left or maybe even that other hair roller that I purchased which I love and adore um I haven't found my necklace I don't think it's in here I have looked for it in here before but yeah it's not looking too bad you can see like the carpets where I had the mats they were spotless and now I have a dog so they will never be that ever again this attachment is pretty cool um I've just used it on my car mats and like car mats you can take out and you know just shake them off you can even hose them down if you want um, but what I found was the little brush is really good at getting in there and like dislodging any of the dust dirt sand there's been a lot of sand in my car we made like one trip to the beach well I made more but one with the dog you should have seen how much sand was in the back seat um, and this is just really good at scrubbing that off and sucking it up at the same time so I'm 
pretty keen on this attachment it's handy i went over the back seat again with that same attachment that i just showed you and i got up a bit more of the hair i think what helps okay it's not ideal but because it has you know the hairs or the the brush fibers um it doesn't have this full-on suction where if it happens to hit the material flat it just wants to like suck it up <laughs> up the uh tube so it sort of allows me to just go over it again and pick up a little bit of extra hair i mean she's pretty full of dirt and shit now to be fair i'm pretty happy with how it's come up no it's not perfect i don't need it to be perfect there's always going to be hair back here it is what it is like whatever um i did go over the the floor and i have to undo this to show you oh gosh so i went over the floor again and i feel like it is looking better and i did it with this attachment so this is just like a small detail attachment um really handy for getting in like these little holes which is great but um i went over this sort of at an angle like this and that picked up a lot more hair i did it roughly and i didn't i wasn't very pedantic about it because it's actually really hot i had to put the dog inside because i'm worried about her sitting in the car she won't get out she loves it um so i think it's come up all right i feel like if there was an attachment like this that was a lot wider um for like going over surfaces like this it would be fantastic but um i would say none of the attachments have been perfect for the pet hair this multi attachment is supposed to be really good for it but i didn't find it to be all that effective i might just run over one more time it's pretty good and you can see like it got up a lot of that hair but it's very hard with the contours of the car um and uh, you know like i'm sitting at a specific angle and i want to bring it back here but it has to be on a certain angle for it to work and the the body of the machine gets in the way so then i have to like turn around and mm, it's not ideal i think the tool does work well but it's going to work best on really flat surfaces definitely need to give credit where credit is due that particular attachment this one the like brush round one it works really well at picking up hair like it totally gives the hair a run for its money but its flaw is that um small bumps like this one is probably it's about the depth of my finger to the tip of my fingernail um that's too much for it but this one here where it's this very slight raise is fine but then where the where the raise gets a bit deeper it's not picking up the hair as well so i definitely think um it's great like look at how beautiful that came up um this section where i don't usually have a rug protecting it came up pretty good but again this is curved so it it can do this section fairly well but it can't do anything with this section you can probably see where it's making perfect contact with the carpet it's got the brush marks from the attachment head but then here it's just sort of the edges are scraping into it and obviously i can't vacuum it this way because it doesn't fit in there unfortunately and there's no uh lengthening attachment for this which is a shame okay next i want to have a go at this floor cleaner got books also can you see no door no door that's why i really want to get this kitchen renovated yeah freya are you helping are you helping oh okay 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 oh yeah so what's this toys toys for mum all right don't want that
put warm water and formula in the bottle. Put the bottle in. This will be particularly interesting is around the bird cage. Obviously, this is an area that is always very messy because rainbow lorikeets are messy birds. So let's have a look. really well. I'm pretty excited. I just need to come in here and, and do it, but you know, I can't be bothered. Who can be bothered? Do you want to see the filth that it got off my floors? Of course you do, of course you do. Look at that water. Mmm, delicious. Chunky and brown. Um, I like it. I think it's really good. Now, I think these floors would come up a lot better if I came in here and um, scrubbed off all of these little bits of paint flex, which is totally like my fault. I just, I'm lazy and I haven't done it since I uh, redid the grout in these rooms. It looks like there's a little bit on the tiles as well. So, you know, that's something that I can come in and do and that's gonna make the tiles look instantly better. But where the tiles are, you know, fine, they look good. Yeah, they're a bit damp. You can run it on a dry cycle. I didn't even bother. I just found that when you, so when you go forward and back um, with the trigger pull, it's like cleaning the floors with the cleaning solution. You can let go of the trigger and it stops using the cleaning solution. And I noticed on the back pull, it seems to give a, um, a nicer finish to the tile than on a forward push. So, you know, there's that, there's one over there that's nice and dry. I think they look fine. Um, and I'm happy because you know what? I didn't have to come in here and sweep or vacuum before pulling out the mop and doing all that shit. It's just one and done. And it smells nice in here. And the floors, once they dry, they will look good. So I'm happy. I wish I'd bought this sooner. I'm not even gonna lie, I really do. Good morning guys, it's uh, Saturday, sort of like, it, it's just, it's just still morning. Um, we're having a, a sleep in a little, a little, <laughs> a little snuggly sleep in, did we? Yeah we did and now we're just laying in bed together. 
Look at this dog, man. This is... This is what she does. She, like, she sleeps on the pillows like she's a person. It's so cute. You are the most... The mo oh, I just got your toenail in my mouth. <laughs> You're the most beautiful one. Are you the most beautiful one? Yeah, you are for me. Mwah. Um... So, I, um, oh, here she comes. Excuse me, I was enjoying that. I'm not finished with you. Is that right? Is that right? Lay down. Lay down. Come on. Lay down here. On your side. Oh, yuck. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. No, 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 no. Lay down. No. I look as bad as I feel. Um, I woke up not feeling too great. I think I'm getting a migraine. I... I just have that feeling in my head and my neck. Um, so I'm having a lay-in with little Freya girl. Freya. Freya. Ignoring me. Why? Banana. <laughs> she is really good at ignoring me when she wants to. Oh, I got your tail. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, scratch your butt. Scratch it. Um, so... I am going to wrap up this vlog because I need to edit it today so you guys can see it tomorrow. Um, but I thought I would catch you up on some other things that I have been up to. Yesterday I went and um, got a brow tint, which was not actually on the cards. I was going to get, I booked in for a brow wax because I have not had my brows waxed since before I went on Isotretin Island. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, so that's well over, it's like two and a half years ago because I was on the medication for a whole year and I've been off it for about a year and a half. Um, so I went and did that or I booked in for it and I booked in for a lash tint because I do love a good lash tint and while I was there um, I asked her if she thought I needed a brow tint and she didn't really say yes but she ran through the types of brow tints that she does and she does the the words she does henna tinting and I've never had that done before so I opted to get it done um, and I would say it's probably a little bit darker than what I would usually go but I know it will fade out um, and she said it does last longer than a normal brow tint so there's that um, and I actually quite like it. I, I would say that they look like how I would do them. So I'm really happy with that. And I feel like with a face of makeup, um, they would look very normal. But they're just a tiny bit darker than like my natural hair color. Um, what else? What else did I do? I went and had Botox yesterday as well. I had to top up because I'm starting to get a corrugated forehead again. Uh, and my crow's feet are coming back, so that's really nice. Um, I also got my chin done because um, I sleep like this, which is so, so amazingly attractive. Um, and also, when I'm holding that face for like eight hours throughout the night, you can imagine that I'm getting, I'm getting lines in my chin. And I used to get Botox in my chin a lot, but when I got acne um, I had to stop doing it because obviously you know it was a very irritated part of my face so I went and did that um, and what else oh okay this hair which guys I mean <laughs> forgive me I've not washed it also it's fading out a lot I'm definitely not doing it any justice at all in this very moment Apologies, Madeline. I'm not being a good model for you. Um, I did a photo shoot for this hair when it was fresh with Madeline. It was really fun. We did um, two like styles on the same day. We did kind of like a uh, like pool hall sort of grungy, grungy glam kind of thing, um, and that was really fun. And then we did kind of like a I don't know I, I would vibe it kind of like country girl lumberjack crazy both very different shoots but really really fun and a really beautiful location as well I love doing photo shoots with Madeline it's really fun um, 
you know, it's just a whole group of girls being creative together and it's just, it's fun. It's fun and it's inspiring. I am getting my hair done again soon. Um, it is going to be the day before Easter. So uh, that's next weekend. I'm getting it done on Saturday in the morning and then I have Al's birthday in the afternoon and then the following day is Easter Sunday. So um, I haven't bought any Easter eggs. Look, I don't really do the whole Easter egg thing because I can't have a lot of chocolate because chocolate causes migraines. But there are other things that I can have. But I haven't gone out and done any of it. We went to Costco, by the way. Costco shopping uh, vlog coming up soon. Uh, we went to Costco and I was hoping that they would have Easter eggs and stuff. But they literally had none. So I don't know what that's about. Does Costco not do Easter eggs? I would have thought they they do. Maybe I missed it. Maybe it's like... Because I know with the Christmas stuff, you have to go in... I think it's like November. Like they don't actually have much Christmas stuff um, in December. So perhaps I, I've missed the boat. I'm not sure. Oh, something else I did do... Um, I went and saw the Harry Potter stage show with my friend Gemma. Uh, it was something that I wanted to do pre-COVID when it first came to Melbourne. And I was going to go with mum, but uh, she can't go because she's not vaccinated. Um, so I asked Gemma if she wanted to go and she did. So we went together. And look, I've got to say, it didn't really meet my expectations. Um, it was good but it wasn't great and I was expecting it to be great what was absolutely outstanding was the magic special effects that was so good there were some parts where I was just like holy fuck that just happened so uh it was good for that but um yeah I I didn't really uh, personally I felt like it fell flat with the acting um I I didn't mind the storyline. There were some parts where it kind of dragged on and, you know, it wasn't the best. And there were some parts where I felt like they could have fleshed it out a bit more. But, um, yeah, the part for me that fell flat was the acting. Why is that light flickering? Don't you flicker? But in saying that, the um, the tickets for the stage show were a lot cheaper than when they came out. And um, now they're doing both parts in like one part. They've sort of condensed it. So I don't know how that will change it. But yeah, we saw the two part and we were we were happy with going. Like there was no regrets for going because we wanted to see it. Um, but we were glad that we didn't pay full price for the tickets like when they first came out. Um, but that's pretty much all I've done. What have you been up to, Freya? Have you been napping and chasing the cat and digging holes in the yard and going in the car? And, oh, oh. No, she knows that doesn't mean we're actually going in the car. She knows I have to be getting dressed for us to be going in the car. She's like, stop fucking touching me. I'm trying to nap. Look how she sleeps on the pillows. It's so cute. You are so cute. I want to eat you. No, she's fucking sick of me. And I don't blame her. I'm sick of me too. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap that up there. I'm going to go edit this video and um, get it ready for you guys for tomorrow. And then I'm just going to chill because I'm not, I'm not feeling great. <laughs> Oh well, I'll be better tomorrow. It's okay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you've been up to. Let me know if you saw the Harry Potter stage show and if you enjoyed it, what your thoughts were. Um, and what else? Anything else? Let me know all the things. Here's a little dog foot for you. Freya will see you in the next one. And um, yeah, let's leave it at that. Ah. Where's that foot been? You're feral. You're so feral. That's disgusting. You're disgusting. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't care how disgusting she is. I still kiss her feet. I love her. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.